Okay, for the daily meal plan assessment, I have the instructions pulled up on here. You guys will have access to this through lesson four um, on Schoology. I'm just gonna read through the lesson instructions and have an example sheet um, pulled up for you so that you can see what I'm expecting of you. Also, you should have access to the daily meal plan rubric, which will also be in lesson four, um, so that you can take a look at um, the level four to see um, what you are missing or what you need to have completed in order to um, receive that level four. We are assessing this, obviously, um, for your standard, for one of your standards for this unit. I am going to, again, just read off of the instructions while I have an example sheet pulled up. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you are going to determine the amount of calories that you actually need. So if you think back to um, your notes, there were different recommended daily amounts of calories for how active a person is, how old they are, um, whether they're male or female. Okay, so you need to go, if you need to refer back to your notes, you can do that. Um, but you need to write down your recommended daily caloric intake. That's going to be right up here on your chart here that you're going to fill out. Okay. Um, this particular person needed 2,200 calories a day based on her, belief, I believe, um, activity levels. Okay. Um, the goal is to figure out, record everything that you've eaten in a meal and sort of analyze what you have eaten as compared to what we have learned this unit that is our healthy levels for you. So do you have the correct amount of carb intake, the correct amount of fat, protein? Are you eating in general the right amount of calories? Are you getting those nutrient groups from the correct food groups and so on, okay? What we're asking you to do is reflect back to your diet, what you ate yesterday, record what you ate for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack, everything that you ate the entire day, everything that you drank the entire day, um, you're gonna record on, on this sheet right here, okay? Um, once you get your food items listed, I would start by listing all your food items out. Once you get those listed, you are going to use calorieking.com try to pull that up here for you. Um, there is a link for this. Otherwise, you can just type in calorieking.com on your computer. And you're going to start looking up the different things on your chart that it's asking um, of you on this website. So Cheerios was the first thing that this person ate. You type in Cheerios. You scroll down and you pick which one fits the item that you ate the best, and then it gives you your information on that item, okay? So the nutrition label, we already had a little bit of experience of reading the nutrition facts label with this website, um, is down here if you need any information from that, which you will. Um, and then basic information is sort of at the top, okay? So you're looking at, oops, go back to sample. You're looking at writing down the total number of calories in that, writing down carbs, writing down fats, and proteins. These you need the exact amount of grams so that you are able to figure out how many calories that is and you guys should all be well aware of how to figure out total, how many total calories if you have the amount of grams in each different one, times four, times four, or times nine, depending on which one you're talking about. And then for your non-energy giving nutrients, we're just asking that you record. We're not asking that you record amounts, okay? So you can see here that she has written um, for her non-energy giving nutrients, she has vitamins A and C. 
Um, she also has minerals, calcium. I'm going back here to look at the rest of them. Potassium and iron, okay? So these are listed in grams or milligrams. You do not have to write that when it comes to your non-energy giving nutrients, okay? I will say that again. Please write the amounts in grams on your energy giving nutrients. You do not have to write the amounts in grams on your non-energy giving, okay? You just have to record um, what is in there. Once you get all of your um, items recorded on your sheet, you can look up all the information. Then down at the bottom, you're gonna do some totaling. This is how you are going to figure out if what you have consumed in your diet yesterday meets those requirements of um, the amount of carbs that you're supposed to have, the amount of fats that you're supposed to have, and the amounts of proteins. So you can just see at the top, she wrote hers in for her. You can go back and refer back to your notes if you need to on that. She went ahead and totaled up her calories, total calories here, compared them to the recommended daily amounts here. Totaled up her grams here. And you might have to do a little figuring off to the side if you have 256 grams of carbs, times that by the appropriate number to get calories, and then see if it is the same as the recommended totals. How do you know your recommended total number of of carbs that you need? Well, you know the percentage and you know your total daily caloric intake. So you have to figure that out on your own, okay? With all the practice that we've done up until now, you should be able to do that. Um, you would complete that for all the rest of the energy giving nutrients. And then the non-energy giving nutrients, you can just put down um, your totals of which ones you had. Please do record your water intake. If you're drinking water throughout the day, if you're not sure how much it is, you might just have to do your best guess, um, but she did it in um, according to the amount of water. And obviously this would not be accounting for the water that she's getting from food items, okay? When you have filled this chart completely out and done all your totals, um, you will look through and figure out just going back to your instructions here. You will look through your information and figure out what main nutrients comprise your food choices. Uh, you will list all that. We already talked about that. Um, you will look through and um, talk about what you need to adjust. Okay, so if your total calories need to be adjusted, where do you need calories at? Do you need more carbs? Do you need more fats? Do you need more proteins? You have to look at all of the sections that you have filled in, okay? Um, if you did not have enough, what meal would you add them to? What types of foods would you eat to get those? Look at your foods. Do you already have tons of fruit that are giving you carbs? So maybe you need more vegetables to give you carbs. You need to look at balancing your food groups as well and then talk about it. So this number five is saying that lastly, you need to evaluate basically everything on this chart and you need to write up a specific um, paragraph saying what, you, what changes you need to make in your diet in order to fulfill your correct amounts of your energy giving nutrients and the correct amounts from the food groups um, that you are recommended to be getting. If you want to see the rubric, it is posted in lesson four with all of the other links for the daily meal plan assessment. And in order for you to get a level four, you need to read through here and have fulfilled everything that is listed on there. If you have questions on this assessment, we are gonna have class time to work on this tomorrow. We'll start the day off with um, questions 
any questions that you have on how to complete this.